Hi Dear friends Today I am here before you to discuss the rest of the story The Race by Nisha Punjabi Let me remind you what happened in the first session Tarun the 12 year old boy was regarded the black sheep of the family especially by his father he was not a good dancer he was not good at studies the only thing that he was good at was running which his father disliked we know the reason the father made a comparison between his elder son and his younger son tarun his elder son was a good at studies he was pursuing a degree in engineering from a reputed college who doesn't like a reputation so we can imagine the mindset of such a boy in a house where he is ill treated especially by by his own parents anyhow he failed in many subjects as we learn from the uh, chapter he was ridiculed by his friends his father was angry with him he was sad whenever he was sad and lonely what did he do yeah he took to running that was his refuge and when he was lonely and uh, sad uh, he when uh, he gave vent to his pent up feelings by running until he panted heavily and that day when he failed in the examinations he like he was watched over by one of the greatest olympians that was ram nara who had won an olympic medal in the 400 meters race ram nara was watching this boy very closely and after he had completed his running around the park and while he was panting heavily breathing heavily resting on a bench ram nara approached him and understood that he was in uh, some sort of trauma or some um, mental struggle and ran asked him what's it boy that troubles you and tarun opens his mind he makes a clean breast of things to ram nara because he seemed to have confided in Uh, this 60 year old man he may have considered him as his grandpa or uh, maybe like his father ram narayan understands the gravity of the situation ram narayan understood that if he was let down he was not going to get a good future or uh, ahead So Ram Narayan told me, you have a bright future, my dear boy. Nobody can defeat you. And you can prove your metal, you can prove your caliber once you get a chance. And here is a chance that I give you. Children's Day, you know, when it is being children, you should know that. On November 14th. Ram Narayan says there is going to be a race a competition at the Nehru stadium 
do you have any plan to participate in it in fact karan was uh, waiting for uh, something like that for a chance in fact to uh, prove it that he was a good luck kid so he says ah oh, i'm okay i'm ready so on one condition ram narayan asks him for one condition the condition is this i will get you an entry into that race it is not easy for you to go and get an entry there but i'll do it for you but you have to win the race for me so this was the challenge that he uh, uh, puts before tarun because ram narayan had such confidence in this boy he knew that this boy was going to come out in flying colors after once the race was over ram narayan had no doubt that uh, this boy would be the winner so it was agreed upon and uh, tarun had some days to practice and practice uh, he did he got up early in the mornings and he uh, ran for hours and hours his practice was rigorous strict one at least he was uh, good at that keeping time for the first time in his life uh, he knew that uh, a routine and time table had a say in his life so all we are waiting for that um, fated day that is 14th of november that morning tarun after having been uh, blessed by his mother he had told uh, the news of the event only to his mother do you think he would uh, disclose it to his father never because that will be the uh, end of that event so he got the blessing he bowed low before his mother got her blessing took his bicycle pedaled it pedaled uh, away to the stadium to the nehru stadium uh, riding his bicycle there he saw 50 participants waiting for the race to begin he thought this was not going to be easy for him because this was the first uh, of its kind uh, that he was participating in uh, something like professional race so he thought that this this was not going to be easy and uh, his heart started to beat faster and faster he could hear the sound of his heart beat he was fretting uh, like anything shivering like anything but he got his uh, entry pass and he searched uh, around for some familiar faces every boy who participated hard you know their parents up in the grandstands their um, father and mother supporting them giving them confidence telling them okay showing them thumbs up and all but here was a 12 year old boy who had nobody to support him to back him up but to his surprise he saw ram narayan there who came near him patted on his back patted on his back and said oh boy all the best i am here to support you you will win the match you will win the race so that gave him uh half of the confidence 
so the participants lined up it was uh, time for the whistle to be blown and the race started all the 50 participants they had one aim in front of them that was to touch the finishing line first ahead of the others so with all their might they started off from the starting point they just sprang up Tharun as he was running ahead of everybody he was proud of himself because he knew that he was going to win the race and nobody was even uh, some 10, 20 feet is, uh, feet, uh, 20 feet behind and his eye searched everywhere in the grandstand in the galleries for his parents and to his amazement uh, to his wonder and to his satisfaction he saw his mother there in the stands who was cheering him up and so the race uh, goes on but as ill luck would have it Tarun who was leading the race he happened to, to be running uh, along a shallow path happened to slip poor boy he slips and he falls everyone in the stands were wonderstruck because here is the one who falls who is to be the champion who is to come first in the race but in sports it all happens you know tarun what would you do if you were in his place i know you would surely uh, leave the field and go your way but tarun as a true sportsman he got up and he started to run once again his mother cheered him up saying come on get up and run and as he was running faster than others he could overtake many of them many other participants even though he he uh, uh, fell once okay uh, halfway uh, up the race you know what happened the uh, again tarun falls she falls a second time and uh, he was not disheartened this time either he gets up and he runs again he runs again and he again overtakes uh, many other uh, participants many other athletes okay uh, now one would have thought it was all over with him but this was not his day the children's day was not his day but for some other children anyhow he fell a third time he falls and uh, he got up full of tears or he crossed the finishing line last as the last participant as the last athlete we expect the spectators to turn a blind eye and go their way but what happened here was just the opposite you know the audience the spectators they were full of praise they applauded wholeheartedly when tarun crossed the line they were applauding his confidence they were applauding his veil or his courage the sportsman spirit that he uh, showed in this case so after the uh, race was over ram narayan it was ram narayan who came first to hug him to show his affection his love his care everything 
for his favorite athlete he bowed his head with shame and said to ram narayan i am sorry sir i lost why did he ask sorry he had promised that he would win the race but he couldn't it was his bad luck and he couldn't keep his promise which he had given to ram nair and that is the reason why he asks pardon of uh, ram nair but ram nair and he is a man of experience once he had uh, told uh, tarun that life was full of ups and downs he takes this very silly in a cool way and he consoles tarun don't worry my dear child this is life this all happens in life life is a blend of light and shade sorrow and happiness it is there we cannot expect always to tread down the uh, flower strewn ways of life there are paths that have thorns in it so we should be trained to take the worst with the best so this is his last advice to uh, tarun no son to me you have won the toughest race the race of your life you got up and started afresh each time you fell you are a real hero your training starts tomorrow he is satisfied ram narayan the coach is satisfied with the way tarun finished the race in fact he didn't expect tarun to get up and run that race especially after having fallen three times this was something extraordinary unexpected of from an athlete especially from a 12 year old boy so if he was doing uh, that or showing that much enthusiasm showing that much uh, confidence at that age ramnar and thought if he was given proper training he would be a promise for uh, for the whole nation so that is the reason why he he promises to train him your training starts now that means from today you are going to be my uh, trainee right tarun could not believe his eyes this is unbelievable he thought B- because he hadn't expected that tears filled his eyes again tears of happy not tears of sorrow it was some moments ago that tears rolled down his cheeks those were tears of uh, sadness sorrow but this time he cried because of happiness tears of happiness rolled down both his cheeks he smiled at his mother who hugged him and said you are the best son in the world what else should he need 